questions about editing tags. So if you add more tags and you do a file save as as an L5X file yes when you re-update your list you'll have to select all your tags again uh, there's no harm in just bringing in every single tag. Uh, we do this regularly with very large programs. And it doesn't take very long. It doesn't hurt the PLC's lag times or anything like that. Um, the other suggestion is to make a UDT uh, with all your HMI tags in it. And then you only just have to keep selecting that one UDT every time you make a change and it'll update the tag. Here's how to do your PLC control with the tags. First thing you'll do, I've got my PLC program. I made two arrays, one Sint array, one Dint array, one Basic Sint, and one Basic Dint. Uh, if you go to Home, System Parameters, and you bring in your tags, you import tags, which is an L5X file. And let's go here first and do File, Save As as an L5X. Go in here, import our L5X file. Here's all four of our tags. We'll select them and hit OK. Now, in your PLC program, I have screens 10, 11, and 12. I go to objects and go to PLC control new change window now I've already got my Rockwell selected you'll see only array show up this has to be an array and the reason it has to be an array is because it writes back the address to the second array uh, and that's it. Make sure active only when designated window open is off. You want change window. And other thing you can do is use this use window number offset of positive 10 because you can't do window 1 and window 2. You have to do an offset uh, you know, of, of 10. Start at 10 and create all your windows. So in our case, we'll do an offset of 10, so that way you don't have to change your program, and you can still write a 1, and then we'll get we'll get 11. When you write a 2, we'll get a 12. You write a 0, we'll get 10. No. Multiple ways to change text in a label. In my case here, I created a... Uh, actually, not this one. I created a string in my PLC. I again save as L5X file, save. I import that in here. L5X file. Put this in. Select all my tags again. Now, under objects, uh, you have ASCII. You can select your string tag. In my case, I'm going to select the first sent in the string. Uh, and then if you click this little settings button here, how many elements? So if you've got 10 letters in your string, or maybe 5 letters in your string, um, starting at tag 0, uh, that's all you need to do. Now, there's your text, and that will change based on what is in your string in your PLC. The other way to do it, uh, if say you had a just a lamp with some text in it, yep. give it a label. Also, uh, use a label library or create a label library. Say two states. Um, and inside your label library, you could have text. So actually, it would be in here. Um, label 1, say state 1. And label 2, call it state 2. 
So now, depending on the state of your PLC tag, you'll have different text. Text 1, text 2. Um, that is another way to do this. Uh, there's your button. As you can see, it's currently in state 1. Here's how to handle visibility with your tags. Um, if I just put a bit lamp down and I just select any tag, I'll just select one of my bits here. Uh, under security, if you enable security, you then have the option um, of a tag within your PLC to handle visibility, say. Um, in this case, I'll just use this basic dent and I'll use the first pool. Um, then you have here action. You have hide when disabled. Um, so enable if bit is on, yes. And then if it's disabled, your tag will hide. Uh, and the, and your, your button or whatever it is will no longer be visible.